the call. Thruxton Radio Golf Alpha Tango Oscar Romeo GPOB on the main eight for a flight towards Serum. Request air for information on radio check. Golf Alpha Tango Oscar Romeo Thruxton, readability 5, taxi holding point, runway 25, right hand turn out departure of QH 1015. Juliet Delta, request radio check and taxi for a local flight to the north with three on board. Of Charlie Echo, Juliet Delta, Thruxton, readability 5, taxi holding point runway 25, right hand circuit pattern departure, QNH 1015. Taxi runway 25, right hand uh, circuit pattern and QNH 1015, receiving you strength 5, Golf, Juliet Delta. Cool. Uh, grass. Pardon? Cut the grass. In because we need to take uh, off the other way. Yeah. So they don't have any, uh, well, they did have lots of taxiways, but the uh, that's what the racetrack is. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, that's uh, that's what you find most racetracks in the UK. It's the perimeter track that becomes the uh, becomes the race course. Like Thrux Thruxton, Castle Keem, Silverstone, Goodwood, wow. it's all the perimeter track. That's the actual racetrack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's about 125 down there. So fuel pump on, landing light on, let's go over to the left tank, beacon, fuel pump on, left tank for departure, fuel, set, on to full, ready for departure, go for Scaramia. Well, yeah, I've got no traffic to affect you, the surface wind is 230 degrees at 15, not you reaching the arch bolt. Hey firm, go for Scaramia. The left turn out then towards the arch bolt and I've got no traffic to affect Are here. Yes, I did see them earlier. Take off, I didn't realise they were based out of it. The go kart, it, go kart circuit or something, and the skid pan. Yeah, and then the off road experience as well. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, look. Yeah. Go on, Foxtrot Tango, that's 
Stop on platform, there's north of BMI and Delta, 1,800 feet, request joining the information. Tango, we join runway 25, right hand circuits, the QFE 1004. 25, right hand, and the QFE 1004. We'll uh, call overhead. Cosmo Tango. Cool. Yeah. How do, you, how do you get assigned the, um, the Golf Oscar Romeo bit? Was that, is that you It's a tail number. Oh, uh, right. So it's okay. like the reg on the car. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see now. So, when I first call up, I have to say the whole thing. Yeah. So I have to say Golf Alpha Tango Oscar Romeo. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as he's read it back short, he's the first left and the last two. But yeah. I can say it. Right, I see. Sometimes, Golf Oscar Romeo seems to be a popular one, so sometimes they'll make you use the whole call sign. Right. Because uh, be, if there's two aircraft on the frequency, so there could be like a, a Golf Foxtrot Zulu Oscar Romeo, mm -hmm. which is different, but then if you shorten that, it still just becomes o Go Golf yeah, Oscar yeah, Romeo. Yeah, yeah. So, so especially when they're like giving you clearances and stuff, they'll be they'll say useful call sign. Mm. Because we're a right angle to their um, to their airfield, do you have to now call them and say I'm just crossing your um? Because uh, we're outside, they have a two mile um, ring. They have a two-mile circle from the middle of the runway. Right, I see. So, because uh, we're staying outside of that. Radio, really, oh, good afternoon. It's Helimed 56 Alpha EC1353 on board, starting for a red call to the east. Helimed 56 Alpha advice lifting runway 25 QFE crashing QNH1015. 251015. Helimed 56 Alpha. That's the air ambulance on a emergency call. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. Wow. I seen that. What they made? They said uh, Helimed starting up for a lift on a red shout. So I assume that means. A real thing. So we don't want to go flying? Uh, go on then. Go on, okay. So we're just going to go straight all along here for the minute. Yep. So just grab the controls. One hand is probably best. Nice yeah. and light controls, nothing like bloody. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Ragging it around and just have a little feel for it, see what it does. So you're not going to do anything. As long as you keep it small and smooth movements, you're not going to do anything that's uh, going to cause any issues. What, what am I changing now then? So this is, so when you're turning, you're moving the um, flaps on the wing, the ailerons. Right, okay, so that's why it, That's why you're moving left and right, yeah, right, rolling. Got a Fox Top Tango, call down. So you can, are you still got your feet on there? Yeah, so um, when we turn, you have to apply a certain amount of rudder as well. Right. Um, which is easier. You can have a go if you want, but... Um, yeah, that's all right. I'll, um, I'll have sure? that control. Yeah. Okay, cool. I've got it. We can get a bit high here. Well, I can try and go up a bit if you want to have a go at some stalling. But you won't be able to be flying, but just give you some sensations. Yeah, got it. Yeah, okay. cool. Okay. Stalling, it's not like in a car when we're talking about the engine, stalling's um, to do with, so stalling you're stopping the car's engine and aircraft stalling you're stopping the lift on right. the wing. So once a wing gets to a certain angle, it can't create enough lift right. to support okay. the plane, so you drop okay. out. And that's what we call a stall. It's not an uncomfortable feeling and it's nothing dangerous type thing. Um, but it's not an uncomfortable feeling and it's nothing dangerous type thing. Get a little sense of weightlessness, or you can do. Yep, yeah, that is one of the. Red downwind. I'll just change over to the center. Copy. South to B middle. I'll have to change your frequency now. Child Sam, radio on one two three decimal two. Go for Scaramia. Only three call Sam one two three decimal two zero today. Cool. Yeah, so I'm just getting us a bit higher because uh, we need our altitude to recover. Really, we could probably do it down at like a thousand feet, but. We've got the altitude, why not give us a bit, ourselves a bit of a safety buffer? There's Southampton down there, look, you can see. Oh yeah, oh wow. The yeah. Isle of Wight and all the water in. Oh. Yeah, very cool, there's another aircraft going another way. Just about seeing. Oh yeah, yeah, he's coming, yeah, from left, right to left. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Cool. That'll do. Okay, so before we do stalling, even though it's not an aerobatic manoeuvre, there's a set of checks we have to run through.
Just to make sure the aircraft's all set up and they're called the hazel checks because that's the a a brute acronym for it. Right, yeah, yeah. So the H of the hazel checks is height, so we need to be able to recover by 1,000 feet. I'm comfortable, we're at 2,400 feet. We'll easily be able to recover. Airframe, uh, we don't have air brakes fitted to this aircraft. We do have flaps, however, and they're secure and down. Security, canopies or doors, that's secure locks. Yep. Uh, harnesses, I'm still locked in, you're yep. still locked in. And lease articles, we've got a few on the aircraft, but for stalling, I'm not worried about that. Engine, T's and P's are all in the good, so we're in the green, and the green, and the green. I can do the car pee. We've got, a, we've got a drop and our significant drop and return, so our engine, we're happy, is all in the green. Location, we're clear of airspace, built up areas and clouds. And finally, we just need to do a lookout. So we can either do two 90 degree turns, one left, one right, or one right, one left, or 180 degree turns. So I'm just going to opt for two 90 degree turns, just so we don't really kind of double back on ourselves. So we saw one aircraft behind us, I'm happy he's out the way. And there we could. So mixed is fully rich as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the power back, idle, I'm going to just pitch the nose up. And you'll notice our airspeed will drift off. Yeah. And at a certain point, the aircraft will want to stop flying. Now you'll probably find it will be about 45 knots or something in this. So the air, the nose isn't terribly high, but I'm having to keep pulling back and pulling back and pulling back and there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Buy a bit of power, come back out. How do you find that? Wow, that's cool. That's a really weird feeling, actually. So we'll do a slightly steep one, so height is still sufficient to recover by our 500 feet. Location's still all good. Look out. Golf Hotel Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Fox, 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 I'll just keep pulling back, and pulling back, and pulling back, and pulling back, and there she goes. That's the stop. Wow. Can I confirm that Boscom is closed? Boscom I did see the, the, the bit of weightlessness. Yes, there, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not, you don't always get the weightlessness, but um, you can do sometimes. Cool. Press on. See why you have your sunglasses. <laughs> yes. Grab them out in a sec, to be fair. Serum Radio, good afternoon, Helicopter Golf Tango Uniform November Echo. Helicopter Golf Tango Uniform November Echo, Serum Radio, good afternoon, push message. Good afternoon, Sir Golf Tango Uniform November Echo is now 22 on board, return trip from a Compton Abbas to uh, Thruxton, currently 10 miles to the uh, west of you guys, just uh, letting you know of our presence routing via Alderbury at about 2400 on uh, 1018. Golf November Echo, Roger, thanks for the call, much appreciated. Uh, also, I'm still on 24 with the left hand circuit, QH 1015. I uh, just have, uh, at the moment, the only thing that may affect is one aircraft just taxiing for departure, uh, departing shortly. C4 left hand, uh, 1015, we'll keep a good look at report to Alderbury if you'd like. One sec. That's someone from Thruxton, is it? Uh, yeah, so he'll be behind us somewhere. Uh, or Compton Abbas to Thruxton, I can't remember. Uh, I'll give him a call in us. Turn radio, Golf Alpha Tango Oscar Romeo. We're uh, currently five miles to the north east of Alderbury, 1,700 feet, 1015. Inbound to land, request landing information. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger 24 with the left hand circuit, the QFE 1005. 24 with the left hand circuit, 1005, Golf Oscar Romeo. Did you see the house from when you come in? in Not really, because uh, you come in a bit lower. You, you can just about see it. It's not right. not a great view. <laughs> uh, right. There's a sprawling mass of Salisbury. Oh, oh yeah. So we we come in from over Alderbury. Oh, Alderbury's yeah. just below us. Oh, we have okay. to come in and out oh, well, from Alderbury. That's their kind of join point. There's the airfield out there. Can't oh, see yeah, it. There's yeah. a bit of a mass of houses and a few white buildings. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah. Always seem to come above um, Winterbourne and then go in that way. Pardon? They always seem to come go go past Winterbourne and then come. Yeah, so we'll go out that way and then we'll right. come down and round. Yeah. Okay. There's a standard pattern or what's called a circuit that you've got to kind of abide by when you're landing. So oh, that's, okay. that circuit takes you out over. Overhead Alderbury, 
uh, joining left base T4, Golf Oscar Romeo. Yes, that's the shorter, okay. that's the shorter of the two Boscombe runways. Uh, the other main ones going that way that you drive by. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The bomber flew in there at one point. Pardon? I think a bomber flew in there at one point. Yes, yeah, I'm sure he did, because he visited um, Stonehenge, didn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah, Lauren and her mum said that they actually kind of like a motorcade just went past with like some big SUVs. Oh wow. Probably the man. Three rings. Oh yeah. Favorite haunt. Left base two four to land. Go for Scrimia. Good. Go. Oh, there's somebody in there, but. Over there. Oh yeah. Tiger them off doing their uh, trial flight, whatever it is. Final T4 to land, Golf of Scramia. That's 230 degrees, on 4 knots. Golf Bravo Whiskey Oscar India requesting radio check and airfield information for circuits. Bravo Whiskey Oscar India Oscar ready, good afternoon, readability 5, 24 left hand circuit, QFE 1005. 24 with a left hand circuit, QFE 1005, Golf Oscar India. Golf, Charlie Fox, ready for departure. Golf, Charlie Fox, Roger. Wind 210 degrees, 15 knots. Golf, Charlie Fox. Not quite as nice, never as nice as tarmac, the grass. There was one actually, we flew to this place which was the home of the Earl of Sussex or something ridiculous oh, wow. and he had these massive long runways that he kept himself and they were like it was like a bloody bowling green or something oh, it was lovely. just flat as a pancake 